And more breaking news. Just moments ago, city police update the investigation into a deadly police involved shooting in northwest Baltimore. WJZ is live at city police headquarters. Kimberly Eaton explains body cam video from the moments before the shooting was just released. Kimberly? And Mary, as you said, I just stepped out of that press conference where police showed us that body camera footage of both the, the initial traffic stop, the chase, and what ultimately ended in a deadly shooting. And it very clearly shows a fleeing suspect turn and fire one shot at an officer before he returned fire just after 8 o'clock Sunday night. The man identified Monday afternoon as Billy Lewis Rucker. They tell us he was known to law enforcement. He did die Sunday night at a hospital. Police say the deadly encounter started near Westwood Avenue, where police attempted to pull over the 33-year-old for some kind of traffic stop. That's when Rucker and a female passenger ditched their SUV and took off down an alley just off Gwynn's Falls Parkway. Police say the officer chased him through backyards before Rucker stopped in a median just off the parkway and went for his weapon, carrying both a real gun and a replica handgun. Police say he reached for the one that could kill. Now, as we said, the officer's body camera captured the traffic stop and those final moments before the shooting. And as police continue their investigation, they haven't released the name of the officer who you hear on the body camera footage, but tell us he has at least four years on the job. Reporting live in Baltimore tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ. Kimberly, thank you. And police say the female passenger was not hurt.